There are some quick correction tools available for dealing with common problems when you're not using software with the full effects menu. They do not have keyframing ability and do not maintain history, but do provide a quick and easy option to solve particular issues. It's known as the F8 or one-shot menu and is accessed by pressing F8. The first option is white balance. To correct the white balance of a clip, click on an area of the image known to be either pure white or pure black. Clicking on different areas of the picture is the best way to find a good result. When you're happy, click on the render box next to the white balance box, not the render button on the timeline. At the end of the render process you will have an option to commit or cancel. Commit will apply the effect and return you to the timeline. Cancel will remove the effect and return you to the timeline. The second option is video level. There are three hidden controls. Click and move the cursor up and down on the image area to increase or decrease the luminance contrast. Hold down control on the keyboard, click and move the cursor up and down to increase or decrease the brightness of the image. Or hold down the shift key, click and move the cursor up and down to increase or decrease the gamma of the image. The third option is tracker. This allows a specific point or feature to be tracked with either a rectangle or an ellipse, which can be blurred, mosaic, or be a spotlight. The easiest way to apply any of the options is to choose the shape you want and choose spotlight, even if you want a blur. Then click on the image to make the shape appear. Hold down control, click and drag down to make a tall, thin shape. Click and drag to the right to make it flat. Click and drag towards the bottom right corner of the screen to make an ellipse or rectangle. The further you drag, the bigger the shape gets. When you're happy with the shape, click on the point you want to track. The best targets for a track should contain both vertical and horizontal components, for example a cross or intersection of two lines, although anything which is clearly visible and remains unchanged in each frame should work well. Eyes are no good, as people have a habit of blinking but the corner of glasses, the bottom of an ear or badge or logo are some good examples. There is no offset in this version of Tracker, so you may need to increase the size of your shape if your track point is not central. When you've selected your point, you can choose to return to either mosaic or blur before pressing track. If you're happy with the result, select Commit to place the rendered track onto the timeline. Any complex tracking must be done in full effects. The final option is Resize. Clicking and dragging up and down on the image area will zoom in or out of the image. Hold down Control to drag the zoomed image to the desired position. Once these effects have been placed back on the timeline, the effect cannot be brought back into the F8 menu for re-editing or removal, as it has no history, but you can use it to add further effects, for example a second blur.